Forgive the interruption, my lady. I brought you the succubus in question. Come! Step forward, child, and show your respect to she who rules over the second circle. Now, now, Arya. No need to over-aggrandize. You'll scare the poor dear. <laughs> Save it for my brother Pride and his perpetual eagle stroking. Forgive me, my most esteem. Um, my lady, have I completed my task well? That you have, my most loyal darling. And for that, a gift. A pound of flesh from those poor, fallen, angelic fools that linger on the edge of the sticks. For you, my sweetest imp, do enjoy. <laughs> you spoil me, my lady. I am most gracious. I shall take my leave now, yes? Yes, all of you may leave me with my curious new treasure. Make sure we are not disturbed. As you wish, my lady. You heard her. You let your sex in me. Move it. Once again, my lady. Thank you. Ah. Alone at last, little one. You are quite the talk of the circle. Such popularity, and yet, even as you linger so in the shadows of my court... I can see your awkward and oddly humble demeanor from here. Come now. At least grace your mistress with the privilege of view in the night. I've heard you are quite the beauty. <laughs> well, compared to the others of your ilk anyway, no one in this realm, demon or wayward soul, will hold a candle to me. <laughs> Though my sister Envy might argue differently. The bitch is true to her nature, at least. However, full heartedly. Come, step into the light. Darling, I may have all of eternity, but I don't have all fucking day. Shall I come retrieve you myself, hmm? By Lucifer, speak up, child! Well, then, if you're as capable as you claim, then perhaps you'll move with a bit more purpose then, no? My, my, my. You certainly are a beauty who stands out. No wonder the others speak your name with such poison. You couldn't even give me a run for my money. <laughs> I mean... You still wouldn't win, obviously. <laughs> but nonetheless, a beauty to be sure. Hmm? Dear girl, are you, you're going to have to project better than what you currently are, especially over those nested winds outside. And stop fidgeting! But, um... You want to know why you're here? Simple. I summoned you. Is there any more of a reason you need to come when your mistress calls? <laughs> oh, oh, my lovely little demon. They said you were a curious one, and I thought after watching you through my scray, I understood their meaning, but now, with you before me, you are even more riveting to the senses. A rarity indeed, and amongst my own realm. How delicious a find you are. Certainly a much needed aberration to the stagnant repetition around here. However, unexpected. Yes. I think I quite like you, little one. <laughs> hmm. 
even more curious up close. Aside from your obvious striking beauty, there really is nothing about you that differs from the rest of your demonic siblings, is there? And yet, your mere presence makes even my most confident succubus succumb to visceral slander. She is no true succubus, they say to me. She questions her very nature, they cry. Imagine how I felt when I heard there was a succubus who questioned her very nature, to the point she refused at times to do the one job your kind is known for best. To hear that you feed on souls just enough to keep yourself from succumbing to madness, as your kind does when they don't feed regularly. A succubus who dares go against herself and thus goes against the one who rules over you. Who dares go against me? You're sorry. <laughs> is it because you're scared, little girl? Is it because the lady of this realm is so close to you I can rip you apart in one motion? Mm. Now where would the fun be in that, hmm? Your fear betrays you, my most curious pet. Angry! <laughs> no, no, quite the contrary, to be sure. I am not angry. I am enthralled, enraptured, utterly fascinated. You have brought me a rare gift indeed. Levity to the predictability of this domain. Predictability I grew tired of eons ago. We children of sin don't do well with stagnation. Before we were regulated to mine the realms of hell, we roam free in the realm of man. I cannot truly begin to describe how divine those times were. Humans are ever surprising, and so my siblings and I thrived in decadence for a time. <sighs> and what a time it was. Almost as delicious as those lips of yours. I cannot seem to avert gawking at. <laughs> Even now, you seem unsure in your gratitude. Again, a delightful rarity. Your kind usually oozes confidence. I should know. I've been coded in it enough by those in my harem. <laughs> are, are you flustered? In all of hell, never have I a succubus who's flustered. <laughs> I should like to see more of this. I wonder what else can be done so that I may further indulge in this wondrous phenomena. I need more. Strip! As delicious a diversion you are, pet, I do not repeat myself often. I will make this exception only once, as you are clearly caught off guard by the look of you. Another endearing curiosity for a succubus, no doubt. Your only repeat and warning, my dear. Strip. Now. And from this moment on, if I issue a command once, you will comply without question. Am I understood? <laughs> Good girl. Good girl indeed. Now come and kneel before me. Yes, just like that. Perfection. Even in hell is a coveted commodity. One you have in spades. Just look at this voluptuous visage before me. <sighs> I could devour you. I will devour you, but... <laughs> 
Where to start? <laughs> There's that bashful inclination again. How thoroughly amusing. Hmm? Are you to be part of my harem? No. You are far too vibrant, and I fear that the others would not take too kindly if I started playing favorites. <laughs> Clever girl. You are right to think that I don't care. But I would so hate to have to slaughter anyone because they dare threaten what is mine. No, I have better uses for you. Mm. You even taste different. <sighs> Smell different. No. Mm -mm. You won't be another harem slut. I have plenty. Then what shall I be for you, my lady? <laughs> Simple. My most treasured curiosity. You shall be whatever I fucking want you to be, and you will love it. <sighs> intoxicating. Absolutely intoxicating. Undress me, girl, and then stand before me. You may be an oddball, my little brimstone doll, but that delicious musk coming off your skin is unmistakable for a succubus. Even without it, by the looks of the way your girl cock is stripping, standing attention, you're just as eager as I 